I've started this channel as a way to document my health and fitness journey throughout 2024 and hopefully beyond. Now, the main goal behind this channel is to see whether at the age of 43, I can get my body back into shape and more importantly, can I get my body into the best shape of my life? To give you a bit of background about myself, I'm someone that's always struggled with my weight, like a lot of people, um, and I've used all the common standard things that people use, that being diet and exercise. So I'm gonna use those things again uh, throughout this journey. Uh, principally, I'm gonna be starting with cardio. Uh, reason being, it's something that I have done fairly regularly, even if it's only like long walking, um, but I would like to get back into um, long distance running again. And they're going to try and tighten up my diet because, as they always say, you can't run out, outrun a bad diet. You kind of can, but it will take you a very long time. Um, and then I'm going to go into lifting weights again uh, in order to try and put a bit more shape back into my body and hopefully develop um, some uh, long term strength gain gains for later in life. So, if that's something that sounds of interest to you, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, and you can then follow my journey as I go along. Now, obviously, the first things first, we need to have like a, a starting uh, position to see where we're, where we're coming from. So I have done a weigh-in. I am currently at uh, 180 pounds, which is a little bit high for me. Um, I currently stand at uh, five foot 10-ish, um, a little bit over. Um, so a good a good weight for me is more around the 11 and a half stone if I'm lean. So if I was just running with no weight, 11, 11 and a half stone is where I'd want to be. Lifting weights, maybe 12 stone, um, maybe even up as high as this, but that 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 would be a challenge. I would actually have to be lifting all the time. Um, so I am currently um, slightly overweight, and hopefully that's the first thing we're going to try and dial down with the cardio. Now the way I'm gonna track all these things is using apps. Uh, obviously the weight, I have um, the Renfo app that comes with my weight scales. I'm also gonna keep an eye on my blood pressure. Um, I've done a quick check on that and at the moment I'm 130 over 80, which is somewhat high. Um, my blood pressure is normally a lot lower than that. I'm normally around about 109 over 70. Certainly it was the last time I checked my blood pressure, but that was back in September. Reason I think it's high is throughout the month of December, I was drinking a lot more than I should have been. Um, so in addition to all of these things, although I'm, I'm, my diet is gonna be second fiddle, I'm actually gonna be giving up alcohol for the short to midterm. So I would say for at least the next month, two months, I will not be drinking alcohol. That may extend into three months. We'll, or even longer, we'll see how we go with that, but I'll keep you up to date on that. And the final app, of course, is gonna be Garmin Connect from my watch. And from there, I'm gonna be keeping an eye on my um, HRV, my, uh, the amount of exercise that I'm obviously doing, so keeping a log of how much cardio I'm doing. Um, I think we'll start off by doing something around 20 miles a week, just, just to ease myself in. And uh, then um, I'm also gonna be um, keeping an eye on my sleep patterns and all that kind of stuff to make sure that I'm not doing anything too uh, too silly that's going to damage my health as I go along. So, as I say, if that is something that's of interest to you, please do keep viewing these videos and I will be ideally trying to upload at least one video, maybe two videos a week, just to keep you an update on my progress. And until the next video, thanks for watching.